going to be permitted any longer to do that. Well, look at Walter Jones from North Carolina, who's a frequent guest. You know, he's got the bill introduced that if they continue to back Al Qaeda and bomb more countries, that impeachment will begin. But no one's got the nerve when he's the clearest president to be impeached ever. It makes Richard Nixon look like an angel, and I'm no fan of Richard Nixon. Uh, and then I look at the Democrats persecuting people and going after Republican governors and people for stuff that's, that, that, that's questionable if, if, it, if it's even really illegal, you know, endorsing vitamin companies and stuff. I mean, give me a break, you know, like we're seeing in Virginia. And, and it's really frightening when you see how the Democrats operate trying to indict all their foes, trying to send, you know, a Republican congressman from Texas to jail for totally legal PACs. Uh, oh, what, what they did to uh, to Tom Delay was 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 absolutely outrageous, and and the prosecutor, uh, whose name I forget there, uh, the prosecutor, uh, you know, just kept going and going and going. Ronnie Earl, Tom Delay, uh, and finally, I guess what just retired or whatnot uh, was not held accountable, uh, and thank goodness uh, Tom Delay was finally vindicated uh, in the, uh, the the courts of appeal there, but uh, the man lost his job, uh, his reputation was ruined for a period of time there. He lost tremendous income, I'm sure. Uh, and as Ray Donovan, the former labor secretary, said years ago, tell me, where do I go to get my reputation back? Uh, it's, it's just outrageous that these people can uh, do these things and, and get away with them. And I'm just tired of letting, uh, letting Obama get away with what he's doing. Well, that's what's scary. I mean, there's been Republican leadership that does corrupt stuff and political persecutions, but it's so rare compared to the Democrats. And I mean, they can indict a ham sandwich with all these, uh, you know, I mean, they have one county here, you know, Austin, where I live, that they launch attacks all over the place. Bloomberg used New York to launch all these frivolous attacks while they are just wallowing in corruption with Solyndra and uh, Benghazi and Fast and Furious. And then I see this attorney general going around indicting Republicans for having dirt under their fingernails. Uh, and, and really questionable stuff. And I, I, I mean, it's just insane. It, it, it makes me scared at a fundamental level. They could set me up. I've, I'm totally clean. But who knows what they could make up? I mean, it, it, you really see the dirty tricks. That's why I then admire someone like you, who I know they see as a threat, on the air saying what no one else is, is willing to say because they're scared. Uh, and, and because they know, wow, if they can indict people for getting loans because they were talking about endorsing a supplement company. Uh, I mean, they can do anything, and it's, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Well, listen, we need to get you into Congress. The website, we'll put it up on screen for folks, barcongress.com. We need to get him in there, and we need to get other people that have shown their fighters. But listen, this is the guy that brought the impeachment. This is the guy that did, and I was just thinking back now, on, on, and no one's going to sit there in the controlled media and go, look what Bob Barr did. Bob Barr has courage. And I didn't mean to turn this interview into a big endorsement, but I just started you know, having that epiphany. Wow, this is, this is really a good, good card to play. So, uh, Congressman, I'm going to say Congressman because we're going to pray and hope you get in there. And it looks like you can, but we don't want to count our chickens before they're hatched. Any other points uh, you'd like to add on other issues uh, in the country and things you like to do when you get into Congress? Oh, gee, there's so many things I'd, I'd like to do with uh, with Obamacare and the Federal Reserve and so forth, uh, but we'll uh, have plenty of time to talk about those. Uh, I do hope people will not only uh, go to the website, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Bar Congress, uh, but also uh, friend us on Facebook. I mean, that's an important uh, way to get the message out and to show people that, uh, that they support what I'm trying to do and what I'm talking about and what you're talking about uh, to, uh, to friend us on Facebook as well. All right. Uh, well, Congressman Bob Barr, thank you so much for the time and look forward to talking to you uh, throughout the campaign. Thank you so much for having me uh, once again on your show, Alex. You take care and God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Well, there goes Congressman, former Congressman, soon to be Congressman again, Bob Barr, uh, just just lately launching his new campaign and uh, very exciting. And, and again, I didn't, I'm, I was very tired today. I have allergies. Everybody knows that. And then I just got energized because it was like clicking. I'm like, I'm talking to Bob Barr who fought the NSA fought the FBI on carnivore, fought the omnibus crime bills, fought all the gun bills, beat a bunch of them, and, uh, and, and started the impeachment of Bill Clinton with David Shippers and all the rest of them. I, I just, it's just like, it's weird to be talking to these historical figures, and no one in the mainstream media is going to tell you. I mean, listen, the Clintons murder people, okay? Okay? 
And uh, I was talking to him off air and he was talking about impeachment and, and kind of <gasps> breathing in when he said it because, I mean, let me tell you something. You, you got to have big huevos to actually be well-spoken and threatening to the establishment and have a really good, clean background like Bob Barr uh, and then go up against them. Because they're scared of people like Bob Barr, folks. They're scared of Ted Cruz. They're scared of Rand Paul. These are warriors, ladies and gentlemen, who are in, who are in danger and who are being attacked. And, and I hope you realize I don't want your, your thanks because I'm in a fight here with you. We're bailing the water together. But you need to know, too, that I am under attack and that uh, just all sorts of stuff going on. And, and, and it's par for the course. I, I expect it. And I, quite frankly, don't like it. But that, that's what it is. Because I know that comes with the territory. Um, and, you know, I try on so many fronts to, to really be an upstanding good person. It's, it's hard to be a good person. It's hard to make the right decisions. But my heart's in the right place. And I know your heart's in the right place. And, uh, man, it just clicked when I got Bob Barr. Because I said last week, hey, get Bob Barr on. Uh, I want Bob Barr on about uh, the NSA. And, and then it was just clicked. Oh, he's just now announcing for Congress. Wow, this is perfect. Wow. What will he be like when he's in there? Because here's the deal. He couldn't really go after him on a lot of stuff. He did in the past because he had no support. People are looking for leadership. That's what I'm telling you, folks. You have to be leaders in your area. And listen, if there were Democrats out there fighting tyranny, I would have them on the show and I would endorse them. Who's the congressman from Florida? I'm having a brain fart, as they call them. Um, excuse my French, um, <laughs> the old English insult, everything bad, excuse my French, it's ridiculous, I love the French folks, I'm Alsatian, my, my mom's side of the family is mainly German, uh, a lot of Germans came into the U.S. and Texas obviously, but there's old English in there too, Gresham's and a bunch of other stuff, but I'm, uh, I've got like double German Alsatian, um, Back there too. Well, most most of my German ancestors come from Al Alsatia. That's the real name of a German Shepherd too. Is an Alsatian. But anyways, I, I guess if I was anything, I am uh, uh, English and Alsatian, but not a lot of other stuff. Uh, but so I'm, no no offense to the French is what I'm saying. Uh, but it's German French. But expanding uh, on all of this. Um, in the final equation, we have to really just gut up and make the decision about what we're going to do. I mean, it, it, and I know I keep restating the obvious. I'm going to go to your phone calls. Uh, it, it's, it's just that I admire people because of their courage. And now I understand how the world works better. As you get older, more of the knowledge comes with the wisdom. And then you understand multi-layer what's going on. And... Um, you realize people like Bob Barr and others understand there's nothing to sell out to. There's no boss hog in the sky, you know, in the government that we can just sell out to and they'll still be nice to us and pat us on the head and everything will be okay. It's not going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. You, you can't sell out to this. There's nothing to sell out to. Sell out to poverty in a collapsing country run by a bunch of control freaks that want to hurt people and make them poor? I mean, it's a no-brainer. They want to divide everybody. They want to screw everybody up. They want to break up families. They want to poison everybody. The new world order can go straight to Hades. I mean, this is not, that's what's so frustrating. There's not even a question here, people. All their debates are fake. All their moral high ground stuff's fake. It's all crud, and you know it. You know it's all lies. Systematic, pure lies practiced to break your will and to condition you to accept fraud. And I'm not accepting it anymore. I want to survive. I want to thrive. I want to have a future. It's real simple. Are you better off now under the new world order than you were before? You like where we're going. You like the smell of things. And you know you don't. Don't let your eyes and your heart and your nose and your taste and your touch and your senses get in the way, huh? 
Just believe the fraud. Let's go to uh, Jay in Wisconsin. Thanks for holding. I appreciate it. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. First time caller. Um, it's actually Jay Mitch. Um, I'm calling to let you know they've put the surveillance cameras up that you were talking about a few weeks ago. They're literally up in my neighborhood, like peering into my backyard, and there are no businesses around. And then they're all over the freeways and the highways, and they're all over the main streets here. They're also uh, in streetlights uh, all over Austin. Uh, they run the streetlights off of cable, off of Internet. And then they, they've got, a lot of them have microphones and cameras in them. And it's just not even a news item. So just looking at your house. And uh, they got caught in Seattle and everywhere else turning the cameras around, looking in people's houses. Well, of course, that's what they're doing. And they're using our money and super cheap technology to build a total grid of literal imperial probe droids everywhere tracking everything we do. I mean, that's what those are. Those are robots with face scanning and, 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 and voice analysis and all this AI crap where the conversation gets interesting and it goes, bing, 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 bing. They go, let's see what's going on there. The guy's like, I ought to, I ought to you know, beat the hell out of that guy at work. Or don't, don't, you know, I mean, they, they just know everything you're doing. It's so criminal. But the answer is, oh, we're the good guys, so it's okay. No, it's totally illegal. Go ahead. Yeah, and um, one other quick thing I want to say. Um, the people here, I've been letting a lot of people know about your show, and um, I'm actually able to make a few T-shirts and things myself, and so I've been making a few shirts endorsing your show. And You know, it's a lot of people, young people here that are in my community that have woken up and are aware of the things that are going on. Um, and I did want to say that I had a dream um, a few years back about all of this. I actually write music for ASCAP, and I wrote a song about this, and so... Um, I shot it over to your Facebook page as a link if you want to check it out. Oh, uh, Real Alex Jones or, or the uh, main? Uh, it's Real Alex Jones, and um, I shot it into the. What's email. the name of the song? It's called Flee, Flee the North. It's about fleeing North America. All right, Flee the North. All right, we'll check it out. All right, folks, stay with us. Felix, James, Greg, you're up next. What's making Americans sick and